que é? Gymshark is great because they always encourage me to keep it 100% in these videos. They want my real, honest truth. Today, I'm gonna give it to you. Gonna give it to you straight, as always. This very well might be one of the best seasonal Gymshark drops we've seen yet. I definitely got you guys. I know I did. Y'all were like peeking into the screen like, what's she about to say? But yeah, honestly guys, if you've been keeping up with my Instagram, you've been seeing me teasing some new Gymshark. We're talking a legacy, sweat, and some training pieces. If you can take a glance right behind me, I mean, it blends in with my decor, which is obviously autumn theme, which is obviously a good thing. This is why I said what I said in the beginning of the video. These colors are a vibe. They match the season perfectly. I finally think they're getting in a stride with keeping up with those seasonal colors. Now, I am based in the USA, in case you haven't noticed from my Jersey accent, whatever that means. <laughs> Now, quick little disclaimer, everything I'm about to share with you is from the US site. So everything's launched. Everything you're about to see launched on site as we speak. Don't know about every other country. I know some countries, you know, they come out with their pieces a little bit later or earlier, depending. So if you see anything that you like, I'll have it linked down below. Also, feel free to use my code Ashley G. It saves you 10% off of all your Gymshark orders. Helps this channel out big time. And for that, I thank you. I really do appreciate if you choose to use my code. If you love autumn and you love autumn activewear, then definitely hit that like button in and do your girl a solid hit that subscribe button up next we have another gymshark haul we're talking the new vital that just released and also coming up next we may or may not have a brand new gymshark collection that's dropping soon you're gonna want to know all the deets on that if you're not already you have to hit that subscribe button i'm not telling you you have to but you have to because <laughs> november's coming up and what does that usually mean Black Friday. You're gonna wanna know all the details. I'm really trying to get a giveaway going for you guys, so stay tuned. I love doing that with every big sale. So summer sales, Black Friday sales. I wanna be able to give back to you guys during this time. This way, you guys can use your gift cards and really capitalize on these sales. Obviously, I will never ever do a purchase entry giveaway. I just don't believe in those. I think that everybody, even whether you shop through my links or not, or my codes, you should be able to enter in on a giveaway, okay? There's all different ways to support without actually having to spend your money. Just by you watching this video, you're still supporting this channel. I actually get a ton of comments saying, look, Ash, I'm not interested in this video at all. Like, I'm not going to buy anything from this video. I'm not interested in this collection you're talking about, but I'm watching it because I love you. And guess what, girl? I love you too. And I appreciate you still giving back in some way. And it just helps keep this channel alive in ways you have no idea. So for that, thank you so much. You guys are ride or dies. I look at you like family. Like you really are the reason we're still here. Without you, that's right, you, you watching, there is no us. So definitely stay posted. Within the next month or so, you can definitely expect a giveaway coming. Let's talk about these colors right freaking now. Let's start with the sweat. Okay. I mean, like a freaking pumpkin, right? I was so ecstatic when I saw this color. When I received it, I was like, oh my God, it's acid wash. What the heck? So they added an acid wash design to their new Sweat Seamless. Now we have this beautiful orange color, but don't get it twisted. They also dropped it in a black and they also have a really pretty capri blue. If it was summertime, I'd be all over that color. But for now, it's autumn. It's pumpkin spice season, AKA my favorite season. We need some of this. Let's start with the leggings, shall we? I honestly I honestly don't know what exactly they did differently with this material, but I do feel a difference in a good way. We are comparing to the previous sweat pieces that have dropped before. Now, I do like the sweat collection for the most part. Their leggings, they're hit and miss. Their leggings are a little bit hit or miss. We're gonna get into that in a second. Now, technically on the site, it says it's the same exact material. I feel like it's a little less plasticky, a little less wrinkly in certain areas, and I overall feel like it has more of a glove fit. Off the bat, I prefer this acid wash over the previous launches, just saying. I do feel like it has a little bit less compression in the waistband as well, which I prefer, but yet it's still fairly compressive. You look, you can see it's still not stretching out crazy. So they still kept the integrity of the waistband, but it's a little bit more comfortable for me to wear and work out in. They kept the same exact design of the waistband. If you guys watch my videos, this is where it's hit or miss for me when it comes to the sweat leggings. I love the front. That front waistband dip is beautiful. I think it's so flattering. I think it really is great for lower tummy control. I think they did a great stellar job making this its original unique looking piece. However, mind you, I've pretty much reviewed every single sweat drop since they've been coming out with the sweat collection. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. 
The back of the waistband. It matches the front. It dips in the back. She dips beneath lasers. Ooh. And for my gals with larger glutes, you might have experienced this as well. It looks like the pants are too tight and that it's pulling down. That your leggings are literally starting to sag down your bum. That's the vibe I'm getting, all right? I caught that vibe when watching back the footage. I was like, yeah, that's what I felt like it would look like. And that's how it always looks with every new drop. Do I wish that they would do a little something different back here? Yes, I do. Gymshark, if you're watching, I hope you are. Do me a solid, just add a nice subtle V seam back here and then have it swoop down to the front, just adding in that real dynamic movement. I think that would make this a 10 out of 10 legging for me, especially with this acid wash design that made the material just fit better. It'd be perfect. A little arch glute seam, make the glutes appear a little bit larger, just really highlight them how I prefer them to be highlighted. I know a lot of you gals swear by the sweat collection, you love the design, you wouldn't change a thing, that's awesome. This is just my personal preference that I would like to see something that doesn't droop down in the back. Now they did keep the eyelet designs, so a lot of the features remain completely the same. Now I'm still sticking to my true size small. If in between, I'm definitely sizing up though. I mean with the compression, the low band on the back, I can't size down. Come on. You squatting in nude underwear, you're A-OK. -okay. Did my black brief test? Didn't quite pass the test. And of course I did the sweat test on the sweat leggings. I guess they call them the sweat leggings because if you sweat in them, you'll see it. <laughs> If you don't like your sweat to be seen, if you sweat a lot, you gotta go for the darker pair. You just do. Final thoughts, very comfortable to wear. Not completely happy with the backside. So if they made adjustments, I'd be wearing this all the time to the gym. For now, I'm probably gonna wear this all autumn long with a baggy, crispy hoodie, which you're about to see in a little bit. They have the perfect hoodie that would match these. How cute would these be with an oversized flannel? Grab yourself an apple cider donut, pumpkin spice latte, and girl, you're living the dream. At least my dream, you're living my dream. In case you haven't noticed, they didn't actually drop any sports bras this time around with the sweat collection. Instead, we have a midi tank. Now, there's no bra pads, no option to insert any, so don't even go there. You're just hanging loose up in here. The only part that's secure is right around here, this ribbing at the bottom, pretty compressive. This can get a little tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. Especially with my sizing, I felt like it was a little bit loose up top. What's very, very helpful is the fact that they added in adjustable straps. Not only can you adjust the sizing, but you can adjust where the straps go. Making them crisscross in the back really helps to tighten things up, make it so it doesn't look so loose up in the breast area. So that was very helpful for me, but I still felt like there's just a little extra room. They should have thrown in some bra molds in there and then they would have been the perfect little tank to wear, but they didn't. They left us hanging, literally. <laughs> So I would definitely stick to my true size small. If I sized it down, this compressive band would have just been digging too much. It would have been a little unflattering. But if I were to size up, then up here is just gonna be a little too much material. Sticking with my true size small is fine. If you're in between sizes, you gotta keep two things in mind. How big is your chest? Can you fill this area out? If you're okay with that and you can fill them out, and you're blessed girl, then you can get away with sizing up if in between. If you're very small chested and you're in between sizes, then you can size down. But do keep in mind right here, pretty compressive. The great part about this ribbing is that it makes it so that when you move around, it doesn't shift. Your top's not running up, it's not moving around. So I did feel pretty safe and secure, minus the no bra pad thing. That's where I was like, woo wee. So if you're somebody who likes to work out in less, but you still want some decent coverage, this would be great for you. Me, however, this is something I'd wear under a cardigan, not really to the gym. Instead, now introducing some training pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They came out with some new training bras. We have the training minimal bra in charred orange. Yes. Yes, it does go with the rest of the sweat collection. Hooray. Minimal training bras are on my Mount Rushmore of bras from Gymshark. I absolutely love how flattering they are. They're extremely low support, so don't think I'm doing anything too crazy in them. For the longest time, I didn't wear them to the gym because in the wintertime, I'd get cold and well, 
you know, you can put the puzzle piece together, can't you? There's no bra pads in here, so I had to be very careful. It's very revealing, okay? It's almost like wearing a little tiny bikini top to the gym. Super sexy, great for back day, your lat gains are shown to the world, they're just shining for everyone to see. But with that sexiness comes possible slippage if you're not totally careful. If you're sitting here doing a back bend or you're cartwheeling in the gym, you're gonna slip a nip. And that's just how it's gonna be. Gosh, they came out with such a nice color for fall. Good job, Gymshark. You really made my autumn girl spirit come alive this month. Thank you. Honestly, I have not been this excited for a Gymshark fall color since they came out with the obsidian green a couple of years ago. Remember that? I was dying because I was like, oh my God, what a beautiful rich green fall color. Check out this training ruched bra in the color plum brown. Say it with me now. That's how you say it. It is. You can easily match it with your sweat leggings and now you have more of a Halloween feel. This plum brown, on screen it could almost look black. In real life it's this deep, dark, vampy purple. I haven't had a training ruched bra in so long. These are one of my favorites. So we still have the adjustable backing. Nothing has changed with this bra. I've reviewed it 101 times, literally. Just new seasonal colors and I'm very excited for this. So if you need something way more supportive than the minimal bra you just saw, a lot more support than that tank. All right, that sweat tank that has no support really, except around the rib cage. Then check out the ruched bra. It still makes the girls look fire. In fact, it's a little snug, a little too snug. So if you're in between, you can size up. I'm okay with my size small. Okay. Really quick, I wanna chat about the bra I'm wearing right now. This is the training bandeau in the color soft berry. It's a very pretty, pink for fall time. So it's a little more muted, it's not so in your face, it's not crazy neon bright. Now my gals who are like, ew, I don't like orange, I don't like purple, I'm a pink gal. Barbie for life. They got you covered. We have some different colors that you can choose from. Also on the topic of pink, if you really love the color pink, there's like this really light pink hoodie they just dropped. A lot of cherub, cherub? How do you freaking say that? A lot of cherub pieces, totally random. I was like, I expected this kind of thing from for Valentine's Day, but hey. But drop a comment on what you think about those cherub designs. Do you love them? Are they not for you? I wanna hear your thoughts. Back to the bandeau. Quick little rundown. It is a low support bra. It's like wearing a bandeau, but with straps adjustable straps, which is key. The only downfall to this bra, it pinches right here a little bit. It doesn't hurt, it's not uncomfortable, but sometimes it's not totally flattering in this area. Other than that, I think it's an adorable sports bra. True size small is fine. If you're in between, size up if you have larger breasts and if you prefer less compression right here, because there is a little baby band underneath, but size down if you have smaller breasts and there's removable bra pads. Now, before we hop into the legacy, I wanted to share with you this block hoodie they just dropped in, again, the plum brown color. Straight out of the gate, guys, this is a size large. Sometimes I size up two sizes so that Bay and I can share. I try to be generous like that, you're welcome. But I also grab it in a large because I genuinely love that oversized fit. I don't know about you, I think it looks great in a size large. Now, this does give it a super oversized look. So if you prefer more of a snug fit, you can stick with your true size because it is naturally oversized. Me, the bigger the better. <laughs> So we do have a block logo that's printed on right at the sternum. This feels like it's printed within, so I don't think you're gonna have a trouble with peeling. But what's crazy is they added on an embroidered shark head at the wrist. Even though this looks super cozy, it's actually really thin. It's pretty freaking thin, and there's no plush lining. It's more of a terry cotton like the rest day, which you might love that or hate that. You might look at this and be like, oh, it's not that cozy, I don't want it. Other people are like, oh good, no plush lining, thank goodness, because I hate getting sticky. You know how sticky you get. <laughs> anyway, you have some seam contour on the back too. Just thought I would add that in. The one thing I wish this had, oh my God, I wish it had pockets. I was feeling around for my kangaroo pockets. I was like, where are you? And why aren't you here for me? Where's my pockets? Sometimes I don't know what to do with my hands, especially for a full ass hoodie. Where's my pockets? <laughs> where at? You can't drop a dark plum hoodie like this and not put a kangaroo pocket in it. <laughs> tisk tisk. Okay, let's move on. Where are my lifting essentials? If you caught it when I reviewed it in the last video, I think it was the last video. Favorite Gymshark sweats to date. That's saying a lot. The lifting essentials, the best.
Are you guys ready to talk some legacy? Okay, good. Here I am again with this color, right? Crazy enough, you know how they do with the legacy cropped boxy tops, right? They're always that rugged acid wash look. Well, guess what? Now they're matching the new sweat. You still have that layered neck. They like to layer up that neck a little bit. You still have the tonal printed legacy logo right in the center. It says Gymshark Fitness. They switched it back to fitness, I think a launch or two ago, and I'm so happy. Before that, it said Gymshark Lifting Club. Remember when they changed it? So, so about that. I was like, all right, well, that's kind of cool, but you know what? Like, I don't go to your lifting club at all. I'm glad to see the original OG logo back and better than ever. These are naturally oversized, so my small looks pretty big. You could size down if you want. There's a tiny bit of stretch in it, nothing crazy. It's mostly cotton based. A nice loose boxy crop you can throw over your sweat set. I don't know why I said it like that. I know I've said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. They love to make this look so distressed, not only with the acid wash, but the way that they have the cut bottom here rolling up on you. They still have a seam. Don't get a twist, it's not gonna just fray up on you. But I do like that little casual roll as if you cut the t-shirt yourself. Now these Legacy joggers, they're a bit new. Now this time around, they came out with Nutmeg Orange. They also dropped another color. It's this really light whitish tan. But I thought to myself, I was like, you know what? This one's more important. <laughs> this one's a more important color for me, I'm sorry. But everything stayed the same in terms, if you guys saw my video, you would know I reviewed this already. It stayed the same in terms of the material. There's still zero, I'm gonna repeat that again, zero stretch in these joggers. So I know naturally you're gonna be like, oh my God, I'm gonna size down, they're huge. Buyer beware, buyer beware. Cause if you do that, I don't know, Check out the footage, you can see where it gets a little tight around the knees slightly when you bend down. It will droop down in the back because this material is stiff. It is thick, it is durable. I truly believe you can drive over this with a car and nothing's gonna happen to it. They still kept what I like to call the carpet patch logo. If you rub your fingers on it, it's like my grandma's old carpet, which obviously is a good thing. Now we do have cargo pockets, be mindful. Doesn't fit a phone, unless you have a really tiny old phone, that little flip phone, that'll fit. Like that one uncle that has a razor from like 2005, that'll fit in here no problem. But these phones, man, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. It will not fit in here. But car keys, anything else, you're good to go. There's no Velcro closure and there's no zip on the pockets. So also be mindful of that. I'm sticking to my true size small. I'm happy with it. Do not, I repeat, please do not wash these in hot water. They will shrink on you and then you'll have to use them for your American Girl dolls. My black legacy sweater that I literally just reviewed last month accidentally made it into a wash that was with hot water and it shrunk miserably. I was... So when it comes to the legacy jogger sets, these new sets, I just would not want to wear them to the gym because I don't want to feel any restriction. These are my chill sweats, okay? When I'm just hanging out and I'm running through the drive-through for a pumpkin spice latte, I need that street style to be on point and that's where those will come in. All right guys, now is your time to shine. Comment down below, what are your thoughts on this drop? Do you have a favorite color that I showed? What are your thoughts? Are we loving this charred orange, this nutmeg spicy color? Like I said, when we kickstarted this video, some of my favorite fall colors I've seen from Gymshark to date. I think they were spot on with this drop. I think that they did a great job incorporating the season into this fashion. I think the acid wash is a vibe. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are so awesome. You're too good to me. That's for sure. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in my next video. Mwah! I'm gonna let you guys in, all right? If you stuck to the end, a little behind the scenes, ready? Right after I'm done filming a video. This is when I do the middle picture for the thumbnail. This for some reason, it matters the most when it comes to a thumbnail because you have to look as shocked as humanly possible. See if you can find which one I use for the thumbnail for this one. So these are the faces I usually go with. I go like this, I go, <gasps> Jim Shark did what? Jim Shark did who? Oh, this is the best one, ready? Praying hands. Like I'm sad, like I'm about to give you guys some seriously sad news. Disgust, shocked beyond belief face. <gasps>